Shoot! He swallowed that. No way. He actually swallowed that. What's going on guys? Your boy Charles Almighty here and today we've got a crazy episode for you guys. Today I do something that I never thought I would do in my entire life. You guys have already seen it in the thumbnail, you've already seen it in the title. Just hold in there, I promise it's coming. And it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in any fishing video or just experience fishing. I'm telling you, it's actually pretty legendary. Regardless, story is that we were out fishing at Rogersville. There's a dam there in Rogersville. If you guys haven't seen the video I posted last time of fishing this dam, it was the first time I'd ever fished it and you guys can check that out right up, yeah? I took Austin, Hammy, out to this dam. He had never fished it before. This is my second time, actually technically third time fishing it. And boy, do we have a crazy freaking day. We catch him one of his personal best and actually his first fish. Actually, we both caught a fish that we we had never caught before so this was just a crazy day all around but enough talking about the madness why don't we just get into it and i'll see you guys on the water i don't know if you guys can see these skulls of bait fish right here in front of me oh my god one just got eaten right there dude holy crap and the wind's blowing a little bit right now if i don't catch one oh my god they're schooling right in front of us guys oh that looks insane i hope the gopro is picking that up you should legit see him running from this spinner bait dude are you watching when they come up here dude they're 100 getting schooled up right now look at these bass eating this is just insane if the wind's blowing like this though a good tip for when you're uh, casting is after you've like actually cast it just turn your reel like this and it'll keep it from birds nesting usually i know dude there are so many shad right here in front of us i uh, know honestly how we haven't gotten a bite yet just is perplexing to me the good news is this is the least amount of people i've ever seen here they're blowing up on these shad right now like literally right here holy crap man oh those are uh, paddlefish at least this at least that one was that was just rocks. No, no, that was rocks. Bro, I'm sorry. Look how crazy that thing looks in the water though, dude. I mean, they're hitting top water though too, so. Oh, big old swim bait. This is the one I had for uh, Ollie's. Or got the jig head from Ollie's. I'm glad you asked that, by the way. Let me show you guys what I'm using today. Got the good old Ollie's swim head. It's a mustad jig head. Two ounces, by the way. Oh, baby. If we don't catch a fish today, I'm gonna be surprised. Yeah, um, luckily when we get over the... Oh, I think that was a rock. Oh, that's gar, man. That's what that is? Yeah, the, you remember how that guy said he saw gar down there? Uh -huh. That was a gar that busted right there. But if there are any big bass in here, they should hit this. Holy crap, the, just, if this is gar, and I'm almost positive it is now. Oh, this is not as terrible. I just got to it. Did you get one? No. That's hung on whatever's down there. Well, I'm gonna take a bite of this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, don't do it, man. Yep, there it goes. I'm almost positive there gotta be some bass in here, though, man. Like just intermingle with all these gar. What's up, man? Hey, what you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, we haven't caught anything yet. You should see how many gar are here, though, dude. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. I know, this is insane. I came back Saturday. Yeah, did Brad show you the fish I caught? I caught about a six pound hybrid. Really? Yeah, he's pretty good, man. That was actually my first hybrid ever, so. No, I mean, I was just hoping. I've seen some bass busting out here, so. I was hoping maybe one of the big ones might want one, but they haven't hit it. Not throwing it for about five minutes. Dude, there are so many gar. See how the shad react to that, too? First off, just me personally, I like to catch big fish, man. So, like I use pretty heavy line. Like I don't go hardly anything lower than 17. Not even kidding. Even for just like a bait caster like this, like it'll recommend a line on yours. Yeah, I, I don't go with anything lower than uh, 17. And I only get mono, but that's just me personally. But it's really good for bait casters. Th these gar are just insane, man. I'm gonna have to get some of these on the long lens. And when nobody, like if it's ever raining, go to Oxbone Fish. It was raining and I saw a rainbow the day I caught my PB at Oxbow. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I just saw your lure out of the corner of my eye coming up and I thought it was the fish, man. It could have been a rock because there are a lot of rocks through here. Like that's what I lost mine on was probably a rock. Yeah, oh, and I've gotten hit too already. So we're gonna go over there with him here in a second though. He's who was out here Thursday when I came up here. Another good spot to fish here is right over there on that point. Cause there's like another little eddy right there that's right off of this eddy. So, I mean, you can see it from here. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, it's gonna come back and not have a tail. <laughs> Cause one of these gar tried to eat it. Try, uh, if you can, try casting back up into it. Like right up in there and then bringing it back with the current. Cause the, any fish that's sitting right here is gonna be nose up in that looking for food. Yeah. Cause like you can see where it kind of used right here and they're getting all those bites right out there in the middle where that U is. I know, isn't it awesome? And like I said, every once in a while, give it a little jerk and you'll see him pulse around it. And that's when you'll get your bite on those things. Oh my God, the gar that are here is just insane. If we had any live bait on us, dude, look at that snake. You see it? Where? Right out there in the middle. It's swimming out there right now. Dude, that must have been like right next to you or something. I think it's just a water snake. Might try the mud bug here, dude. Yeah, that's that uh, jig I had. That like crawl dad thing. Yeah, if I tried that in here, dude. Oh, 
As long as I don't get hung up, I can just bounce it along the rocks. I'll destroy that thing. If there are any smallmouth on the bottom, man, oh. I need to try the prop duster in here too. Yeah, that's a, uh, I'll show it to you here in a sec. That's what I caught my PB on. Large mouth anyway. No, I came out Friday. Friday? Yeah, I legit came back the next day. No, I only caught one fish all day, but yeah, I was happy with him. He's about six pounds. That's how it was for us. I, it was kind of slow that day. And then just like four o'clock, turned on out of nowhere but there were also a ton of bass boats yesterday or uh friday so really? yeah there's legit two people parked right here on this slack line where this eddy is yeah. like right where all the fish are it's like awesome yeah. extra parking right there i can't cast at it now that's where i got that hybrid bite dude no 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 right out there so like you see where the water is turning to uh, from white to brown that's exactly where they were was right in there just literally sitting out there in that current it was crazy but that's what they do i mean they'll just sit nose nose into the current and just wait for food to come to them there's just so many gar here man that's that's some tough bat like competition for the bass like there's legit one right here while i was talking about it man those are tanks man i might want to tie on a crankbait Ooh, that miss just comes out of nowhere when the wind blows austin I'd come try that right here, man. I'd, I'd cast it right up there, man. Legit right on this line, right here where you can see it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, she got off. <laughs> yeah, I legit would cast it just like right here in front of you. And then bring it right up this. Try to keep it out of the current, but if you can keep it right on this line, like legit, like right out in this. And then bring it right up here in front of us. I thought I did, but trust me, you're gonna know when I get a bit, I want to bite on this. You'll know on that too. You don't even, that, the great thing about this spot is you don't even have to cast out that far either. Like you can legit run it out right there and you'll get bites. That's where I got my bite last time though, was right out there. Uh -huh. So bait casters are really sensitive. So trust me, you'll know when you get a bite, man. Jesus, that missed. Yeah. Trying to keep it off the camera. Don't know how good I'm doing now. <laughs> man, that is so bad. Hope I'm keeping it off the camera. <laughs> At least the lens. I just want you guys to be able to see. Enjoy the shot of Austin while I'm sitting here keeping yeah. the water off the screen. That could have been a carp. Oh, that was a bite, yeah. I think it was a little bit small though. It wasn't like a big thump. I think it was a kind of small fish trying to eat a big, big bait. They got some big eyes, man. Look at that. I mean, there's just so many. That's what Clay said. He said, I watch your videos, man. And when I hear the music, I'm like, oh, about to catch a fish. Look at how much shad's right here though. Like they're just balling up right there. It's just a matter of time, man. We're legit just gonna sit here all day at this spot and just keep casting. Oh, that's a oh my god that's insane dude holy crap there are a ton of carp i hope you guys can see this on the gopro that's just crazy i'm telling you dude there are some giants in here let's wait till you see the bass if we can ever get one to bite <laughs> i mean it'll happen though trust me yep i just snagged a carp dude you lost two today I just lost my like bait to a carp. Like Holy crap. Yeah, I've only got one more though. Oof. That's okay. I got other swim baits I can throw in here. Holy crap. These carp are insane. Oh, I got one. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> There we go. Thank God. I was about to say, I don't want to lose another bait to a carp today. Speaking of, if you guys want to see a video where we save some carp, go ahead and check that out below. Or actually up here in the top right. Man, those are some giant carp though. I mean, if they legit get mouth hooked, I don't care to catch them. That'd be kind of cool actually. I mean, those are some absolutely massive carp. Oh, he had it. Bro, he legit swallowed that thing. They're sitting in this shad right now, just gulping them up. And if I can legit get one of these just to swallow this, I will actually try to catch it. I don't want to snag one, that's cheating. Oh, that was a bass though. I don't want to get short on by this thing, but I want to make sure I can actually catch it, you know? I'm trying to catch one of these carp, man. Yeah, all I'm doing is just letting it sit in this curtain and twitching it. They're coming up to hit it, man. I had one swallow it and spit it out. He's still on it swallow it dude like if i actually mouth hook one i'll catch it but i don't want to snag one you know it's a little bit cheap to just snag it i'm not trying to snag it man I, it, th that's all i'm doing i'm just sitting here jigging it just twitching it in the current man i've had two or three come up and mouth it carp that was literally right here he's still right here
we go. Just came off. <laughs> oh, he was snagged. That might be why. You! He swallowed that! No way! He actually swallowed that! Oh, dude! I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Oh my god! He destroyed that thing! Right here in front of us. No, I did not. Oh my god, dude. This is insane. I'm gonna have to wear them out, man. Yep. Let me get to where you're at. Dude, this is what I wanted. I said, I don't want to snag it. I wanted to eat it. And he came up and destroyed this thing. Oh my god, dude. My God, are you kidding me? This is my first ever carp, dude. Just so you know, I'm trying to make sure I don't break off, though. This is my first carp ever, and it's on the prop duster. Are you kidding me? I know we don't have pliers. Can you ask him if they go have pliers? Can you go ask him if they have pliers, man? I'll keep him right here. I'm sorry, but he's hooked so good, dude. Oh my God, dude! I cannot believe this. Guys, I have a carp on. Dude, I'm telling you, he swallowed that thing. Just be careful. Like, he's still got life in him, you know? Try to get on the bottom with it if you can. Just hold it. Just hold it. I think the only place I got room for is the pump. He's hooked so good. Down in his mouth, too. It's a pretty good size one, bro. Check that out. Not bad for a first carp, man. A carp on a prop duster. Are you kidding me? man isn't that crazy let me just show them one more time holy crap guys here we go boys <laughs> one last look at this toad just look, see if it can hold it no i don't think it's going to yeah i think wow it's... imagine having a fish that you can't even hold on your scale but that's pretty crazy guys i mean that's, Very that's, that's just insane that's my first ever carp all right guys well let's go ahead and get a release video on them make sure he's okay oh yeah he's fine wow bro wait that Heck was yeah, that was sick if it worked once it'll work again wouldn't that be crazy back to back well i mean at least we're more prepared now you know i didn't actually know if i was going to catch one or not honest to god i never really expected to hook up to a mouth of a car with a lure i hope the gopro got it he legit ate it right here in front of me dude came up and swallowed it this right here was literally all i was doing oh another one swiped at it right there and missed it oh i had another swipe at it right here oh yeah Yes, sir. Hammy's hooked up. Just play it slow, play it slow. Let him tire out. Let him tire out. He's still fighting pretty good, man. Whatever that is, it's a good fish, dude. Just play it slow. I want to make sure. Oh my God, it's another fucking fall. Oh my God. That's a drum, dude. Dude, are you kidding? Bro, that is the biggest drum I've ever seen. Okay, be careful. Play it slow. I don't want your line to break. Where are the grippers at? Holy crap, Austin. I'm not even kidding. That's insane. That's a huge, that's a trophy drum. That's a drum? Yes. Here, 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 here. Actually, let me grab it for you, okay? Holy crap, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, dude Jesus Christ. that is the biggest drum dude, that is I have ever seen. You got a good grip? Yeah, I got it. Bro, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you want to pose for the thumbnail, dude? Yeah, dude. What's up? What's up with it? That's awesome. Yeah. That is Freaking, I'm not even kidding. That's I'm the biggest drum that's I've ever drum. seen, dude. That's the first drum I've ever seen caught in yeah. person, really, dude. Like, that this is, is just my insane. First drum, bro. Holy crap. Dude, I have birds nested, dude, and I was trying to get it out. No way, really? Tug, and then I was like, wait a minute, am I hooked on Holy the crap, man. Let me get a picture with you, bro. Did I say that's at least 13 pounds? That's insane. I don't even know what the Tennessee record for drum is, if I'm going to be honest. Guys, what is today? Let's just. Let's think about this. We were coming after bass today, and we just catch two crazy species. Okay, go ahead. 
Adam? Yep. Holy crap. What? That's eight pounds, 12 ounces. Oh crap, dude. There we go. Are you kidding me, guys? Yeah, that's pretty insane. That is just, <laughs> what is today already I'm shaping up to be, dude? Way. Check that out, guys. What about that for a thumbnail? He's All right, let's get a release video. Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna hold him in the current right here for a second. He'll let me know when he's ready to go. Here he goes, guys. Wow. Yeah, Lay it on. That was awesome. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. So there you have it, guys. An hour and a half into fishing here, and we already have two new species we've never caught before. Guys, I just hooked up again. I wasn't recording, but that is a mouth hooked carp on this prop duster. That's the second one today. That one's pretty good too, man. I'm legit just sitting here trolling this in the current and he's, uh, they're obviously wanting it today. I'll tell you that. Oh man. It's going to be kind of hard. You're going to have to grab the line. Just be really careful with it. He sucked really good. So you'll be okay. Check that out guys. <laughs> That's just insane. That's another fish on the prop duster. I think that one's a little bit smaller. I think this one is a little bit smaller, but he was a hungry guy. Can you get this line for me? I'm just going to dunk him in. There we go. All right, we're just gonna toss them in right here. Heck yeah, man. That's crazy. All right, well, I said if they hit it once, they hit it again, but if they hit it twice, they'll certainly hit it a third time. I'll tell you that much. Third time's a charm here, Austin. That's how we get the big Mondo. What's going on right now? Like, what is this episode? But guys, as crazy as this episode was, and it was freaking insane, we might as well call it quits. I hope you guys had never seen anything like this before. I certainly have never seen anything like this before on YouTube. That's like the first mouth hooked carp I've seen on an actual fishing lure like anywhere, and I'm glad I got it on the prop duster. My prop duster has caught me two of my PBs. And that'd be largemouth and carp. If you guys don't have a prop duster, what are you doing? There's links in the description below and you guys can check those out. In fact, there's links to almost all of Chase Bait's lures down in the description below. And if you wanna see some of the videos where I've caught some Chase Bait's fish, I'll put some links down below for that too. But guys, crazy, crazy day. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, then be sure to hit the like button below, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh.